Hello, hello, fans of Manchester. Here we go again about Manchester United takeover latest as Sheikh Jassim set to make Tottenham decision. Former Man United takeover, hopeful Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani could be about to take his money elsewhere in the Premier League. Manchester United returned to winning ways on Saturday as they beat Fulham 1-0 in the Premier League. The three points were a big confidence boost for Eric Ten Hag and the supporters at the end of a tough week. Meanwhile, on the takeover front, the Reds are still awaiting official confirmation of Sir Jim Ratcliffe joining the boardroom after Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani withdrew from the process. The Qatari banker cited the Glazers' valuation of the club as the reason for his withdrawal, and this has led to speculation as to where he may now take his money. According to reports, he is unlikely to move to Tottenham Hotspur. Take a look at this and other headlines in our takeover roundup below. According to The Athletic's David Ornstein, Sheikh Jassim is unlikely to invest in Tottenham now the United opportunity has gone. He explained, From people I speak to around the industry, they do not expect that to be Tottenham, so unless things change, and they do change, I wouldn't put too much emphasis on that one. People have said he should pivot to Liverpool and rub ultimate salts in the wounds of Man United fans who wanted him in. I've got no knowledge of him going anywhere else. United told they must make decision to help Ten Hag. According to BBC Sport, figures inside United have stressed the importance of finding a quick resolution to the takeover saga to give greater clarity on Ten Hag's position at the club. The Dutchman is currently under pressure at Old Trafford, and it is unclear whether Ratcliffe would aim to sack him if he joins the club. On the other side, Marcus Rashford missed the trip to Fulham with an injury. The England star suffered a heavy knock in United's last training session on Friday. Although he traveled with the squad, he failed a fitness test ahead of the game. It is unknown if he will be absent moving forward, again and again. Edwin van der Sar reveled in Man United's win over Fulham. The Dutch goalkeeper who played for both clubs took to Instagram to celebrate. He wrote, Though injury time loss for Fulham and this game had a draw written all over, it was a quality finish from the captain and three points for Manchester United. Again and again. Rasmus Hajland is yet to open his Premier League account for the Red Devils. And the Dane cut a frustrated figure when he was subbed off with 10 minutes to go. As Hodgland took his place among the subs, he appeared dismayed to have been hooked. It was a game to forget for the $72 million signing, who must be wondering when a league goal will come. Meanwhile, the Man United captaincy has been a hot debate in recent weeks. Bruno Fernandes has been criticized for his leadership skills after the Red Devils suffered back-to-back 3-0 -back home defeats against Man City and Newcastle. Fernandes uploaded a snap on Instagram of the image of him celebrating his late goal. He captioned the photo, United, adding a heart emoji to his note. In the comments section, fans couldn't help but notice De Gea's message. He wrote, You are not the right captain, adding a zipped mouth emoji. However, it was clearly De Gea poking fun at Fernandez's critics, with the pair being close friends and seen out having a coffee in Manchester last week together. On the other side, is Maguire's medical scare. It looked like Harry Maguire might have had to have gone off against Fulham. However, United's medics deemed him fit to carry on, he told Man United's website. Obviously, I got a knock really early in the game, but the doc did all the tests. I knew where I was, was answering all the questions, and I completed them, thankfully. If the doc says I'm okay to carry on, I'm always going to carry on. So, no. It felt good to be able to get through the game, help the lads to a clean sheet, and more importantly, three points. Elsewhere, Rapahel Varan is being lined up with a January exit from Manchester United, according to reports. The centre-back joined the Red Devils two years ago and has become a key member of Eric Ten Hag's team. But he could depart when the transfer window reopens amid interest from clubs in Saudi Arabia. And Varane would be open to leaving, according to Team Talk. 
The report adds Cristiano Ronaldo's Al Nasser are one of the clubs interested in buying Varane. Several other Saudi clubs are keen on the Frenchman and his agent has reportedly received offers from several teams around the world. In addition, Eric Ten Hag has become the quickest manager to record 50 wins for Man United. The Dutch tactician reached the landmark in 78 games, which points him joint with Ernest Mangnall. It took Jose Mourinho 81 games, while Ole Gunnar Solskjaer did it in 92. Matches. Again and again. Eric Ten Hag shut down Rio Ferdinand in a tense live TV interview. The Manchester United manager was quizzed on TNT Sports on the Craven Cottage pitch. Afterwards, legendary defender Ferdinand asked, Ten Hag when fans will finally get to see the team playing his style effectively and consistently. However, the Dutchman was having none of it and fired back defiantly. Ten Hag said, With all due respect, didn't we see it last season? Ferdinand replied, Last season I saw it, but this season we haven't. A stumbling Ten Hag then added, No, anyone knows why. Because we have so many injuries. Every time you have to swap, you have to make changes and the routines are not there. That is what you see in these moments in our team. You have to be more pragmatic, but I've always said, it's not an excuse for not winning matches. Ten Hag then went on to explain the need to have the same players regularly appearing together to build chemistry and momentum. And at the end of the gaffer's spiel, Ferdinand gives a blunt, yeah, before Joe Cole asks another question. Meanwhile, Scott McTominay has revealed what drove Manchester United to victory over Fulham in today's Premier League clash. The Scotland International pointed out a banner that was being held up in the away end by traveling Man United supporters. The banner, which read, play like you mean it, seemed to spark a conversation in the changing room for the United players. Speaking to TNT Sports, McTominay said, Yeah, we've seen it. We've seen the banner before the game. And a few have said, Do you know what? The fans pay good money to come watch every week, and the support is relentless towards us every single week. And we just want to repay them as best we can. Things haven't been going the best at the moment. But like I say, it's a building block step by step, and with the manager and the coaching staff, we trust them a lot. We trust the players, and I feel like we can go on and kick on and do better. On the other side, Anthony has been slammed on social media after enduring a difficult first half against Fulham. The Manchester United winger was compared to Bebe as supporters turned on the 85 million man. There was also cheers as he was subbed off for Facundo Pellistri.